Hello everyone, it is Witty Michi here with another episode of Pio Fiore Faded Memories. We are going through Nicola's storyline, so I'm really excited about what we find out next. Let's get started, shall we? So while I load this up, I just want to say that I hope that you are having a wonderful day, no matter what time of day it is. It's beautiful. After the meal, Nicola brought me to the garden outside. Oh my, what a place! It's incredible! The carefully tended trees and bushes were lined up beautifully. Thank you very much, Nicola. I mean, I was referring to everything you've done for me. You saved my life and I can't thank you enough for it. You even saved Elena and let me meet with Sister Sophia too. Sister Sophia is like a mother to me. You can't imagine how happy I was. Meeting her eased my tension and brought a much needed peace to my mind. How did you know? I see. Nicola tried to find words to say to me as he looked around the beautiful garden. いろんな仕絡みがありすぎて正直なところ窮屈だったし。望む望まないに関係なく親とは疎遠だった。だからうまく言えないけど君の生まれを知って少し君のことを近くに感じたんだ。こんなこと言うと。No, not at all. His concern brought warmth to my heart. Maybe that was why I felt much closer to Nicola now than before. Thank you. We looked at each other and smiled. A breeze passed through us, lifting the pleasant fragrance of flowers into the air. Chapter 2 A few days passed in the Falzone Manor. Though they treated me as a special guest, it made me feel a bit uneasy, so... I asked if I could help, so now I was assisting with the daily chores. Yes, but under Julia's guidance. I tossed some... Oh, that's the pronunciation. Is it uh, chime di rapa with orecetti, then topped it with some shaved botarga? Botar... Botarga? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I'm so sorry if I offended anyone with my pronunciations. Orichieti con chime de rapa was a local favorite in Puglia. It's a green vegetable from the Brassica rapa species found along the coasts of the Mediterranean Sea. Meat. 
Botarga, but Botarga was pretty expensive, so I rarely used it back at church. Just as expected of the Falzone. They had nearly every ingredient one could want. I made some focaccia and s some other antipasti as well. We had a tradition of serving small portions from a variety of dishes. Preparing them all did take a while, but it was fun and well worth the time. Ah, Oh my, don't tell me that the Falzoni men don't know how to respect their ladies. If there are a bad person, it's Dorcha and Nuki. Oh, don't worry about it. I like to be a Jukujo. The maid's maid is a great deal. If you don't want to be a maid, if you don't want to be a maid, you'll be back in 20 years. <laughs> well then, I guess you deserve this. A nice cut of dolce. I'm happy to see you happy. <laughs> Welcome back, Nicola. I hadn't noticed he returned and walked up to him upon his entry. It feels like it's been a while. He's been very busy and is hardly around nowadays. Are you sleeping? You don't look too well. Julia now trusted my cooking and assigned me to bake the dolce. Only dolce? That's not a balanced diet. How about some roasted bream? I actually made the main dish today too. I coated the bream with lardo and roasted it with lemon butter. It comes with sweet potato mash on the side. What's lardo? Salted or smoked pork? Oh, okay. I responded to Nicola. Hmm. 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 Uh. Huh. Uh. Huh. Uh, 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 uh. No. 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 Stop it. <laughs> I kept. I kept doing that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man. Uh. Hmm. I'll go with this one. I smiled and nodded as I prepared his plate. I'm sure you'll like it. You must have some, Nicola. I really think he's going to miss out on what I made today. And... Without sleep or food, he's going to tire himself out and get sick. He has to eat when he has the chance, so... You know, that way he's well nourished. Nicola smiled at me, sensing that I was concerned about his well being. Responsibility? Well, wait until you get a taste of today's dolce, then. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, <sighs> I'm happy you liked it. Strudel is delicious. 
Yes, and they taste even better when it's getting cold, like now. I'm happy to hear it. Glad I can be of some service while I'm here. Working and moving around does help keep my mind off all the things going on. Now? I thought you were going to sleep. Leo, what in the world are you? かなりマイルドに言ったつもりなんですけど、むしろ一緒に寝たいってこと。レオ。誘い文句を解説する方がもっとやぼだと思わない。え、すみませんにこらさん。俺が無神経でした。Really? I coughed to the side in an effort to hide the redness on my face. I turned to Nicola and nodded. I'm fine now. But do you mind waiting for me to clean up first? Nicola, <laughs> 教会の子にはくれぐれも遊びで手を出すんじゃないぞ。大事にしてあげてくださいね。信じてますよ。Strange. <笑><笑> Nicola's smile seemed a bit scary. I went back to the kitchen with the dishes. Julia, I brought the dishes. It's so good to know that they ate everything. Clean off their plates. Why, yes, even the garnish. Is... Is it her problem? ボッちゃんはラルドが苦手なんですよ。普段は食卓に出ても召し上がらないんです。Really?今日のタイはラルド包みだったのに、珍しいことがあるものですね。Nicola didn't say a word about his dislike of lardo. And yet, he still ate it? Is it because I recommended it to him? I quietly washed the dishes while thinking about Nicola's reaction to my recommendation. I was finally done cleaning after the meal. Nicola brought me, not to his room, but to the garden. Was there something you wanted to talk about? あ、気づいていたんだ A little But you really shouldn't ask me like that It really gave me the wrong impression 気をつけるよ次からはちゃんと君と二人きりの時に言うじゃないと君の方が赤く染まったところを他の男にも見られてしまうしね Why you, Nicola? You don't learn, do you? I could feel my cheeks getting warm as I protested. But my agitation didn't seem to bother him. Instead, he was just smiling at me. In any case, I figured you aren't the type to ask me to go to your room. But you listened to me back then when I wasn't able to sleep. I figured it's my turn now to listen to what you have to say. いろいろ気づかってくれたわけだね。まあ、今回は聞いてほしいっていうより聞かせたいっていうのが正しいかな。君も興味があるんじゃないかと思って。Interesting. 
もう来ているねはいそうだね。彼女の危機を直接僕に教えてもらえたのは運が良かった。うん。that seem like an odd statement。he's making it sound like he was the lucky one and not me。nicola noticed me pondering over his statement。ああ、なんでもないよ。ちょっとした言葉のあやだから。それよりオルロックあれから何か動きはあったかな人身売買の件についてなら特に何も新しい情報はない女性がさらわれる事件だって彼女が襲われたあの晩が最後今はすっかりなりを潜めていてむしろブルローネの治安は良くなってると思うなるほどこちらの調べと一致しているね警察も同じ見解のようだしやっぱり偶然じゃなくラオシュは分かっていたということかなじゃあオルロック君は引き続き調査を続けてくれると助かるよ有意義な情報は高く買うオーロックなどにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかかりにかか He abruptly changed the subject to show that he had no intention of continuing the conversation. Yes, thank you, Nicola. In turn, I ask that you rest well. So, I'll see you tomorrow. That's why I'm going to ask you to rest. Nicola smiled and escorted me back to my room. What's going on? そんなに熱い眼差しを向けられると僕も照れちゃうな。Oh, uh, was I staring at you? I hesitantly said what was on my mind. I appreciate how kind you've been to me, but aren't you being a bit too kind? そう You don't like lardo in your meal, right? Oh, that's right. Today, I'm going to eat a little bit of a good feeling. Somehow, you're too kind, Nicola, and it worries me a bit. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm not a good person. 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 I'm not a g o いくらでも非常になる。あ、ah.。I was just curious to see if it had like the definition of a rule <笑>。敵味方関係なく容赦はしない。ほら、レオは僕を怖がるだろ
ルカは甘やかさないことにしているからね。Really? I suppose Leo must know Nicola's demeanor as a member of the family. だけど、君は何もしていない。何より、一般人の女の子に対して厳しく接する理由はない。だから普通にしているんだよ。それを優しいと感じるかどうかは君次第じゃないかな。Does that mean you're not approaching me as part of the mafia? But rather approaching me as an individual? Nicola gave me a gentle smile. His gaze upon me was making my heart race. The following day, after Nicola introduced me to Orlock, Okay. The windows are all done. あのいいんですよ掃除なんてあなたは保護されているわけでメイドとして雇われているんじゃないんですからただでさえ食事の準備とかも手伝ってもらってるってのに But I need to do something to pass the time. Julia asked for help too. Back when I was at the church, we all had our responsibilities and chores for the day. So, I can't imagine passing the time without doing anything. If that happens, then call me. I'll explain myself to Nicola. After I finished wiping down the windows, I peeked into the kitchen to see Julia. Ah, it's a good one. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a cup of tea. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a cup of tea. I'm not sure if I'm g o Why, of course. To his office, right? <laughs> to Dante, we go. Huh? Just as I was about to knock on the door, I heard someone's voice coming from inside. Ah, <laughs> I, I know this voice. Is it. Gerald Paris? Gerald Paris was a famous Berlin politician. He was very popular among the citizens. I, I remember him coming to church often to see how the children were doing. I didn't know he had connections with the Falzone family. I, I guess I shouldn't go in now. Nicola. Nicola looked down at my hands and immediately responded. Ah, cappuccino. Look at the hobby. Jodo Dante and Shingoto no Hanashina are gonna. Are you sure? I felt bad that he was going to take it to Dante when Julia asked me to do it. You can count on me. Thank you, Nicola. I thanked Nicola for being so thoughtful as I handed over the tray with the cappuccino. I turned around and left the office, heading back to the kitchen. 30 minutes had passed. Nicola, here's the espresso you asked for. 
As a small token of my appreciation, I also brought a small tray of pistachio biscotti to the salon. When all of a sudden... Oh no. Oh no, what do I do? Two hotties are arguing. I stopped right at the entrance to the salon. Inside were Nicola and Roberto, along with a number of the Falzoni's men. The men had their guard up and were ready to pounce on Roberto at any moment. <gasps> Noticing me at the entrance, Roberto suddenly gasped in surprise. Nicola didn't say a word to him, and instead, looked at me and smiled. I'm sorry, I didn't know you had a guest. I only brought enough here for you. Roberto glared at Nicola's lack of interest. I could tell very easily that Roberto was beyond angry. He was trying his best to hold in his anger, but it was quite apparent in his eyes.罪を僕一人に一体何ができたっていうのかな司法に干渉するだけの権力があるって司法と警察が公正に判断した結果パルツオーネの公正員は釈放されたそれだけのことじゃないかニコラ replied gently in an effort to try and quell Roberto's anger then all of a sudden the tone of his voice changed 最近 そんな暇つぶしの影響を受ける君は自分が口にする言葉をもう少し変えり見た方がいい。この街で僕たちファルツオーネに対して単なる一刑事がそんな態度をとっていいと思っているのかな。自分にはその資格があるって親切心から忠告しておくよ。今後は身の振り方に
、マルコ。迷惑をかけてすまねえな、ニコラ。そいつの勝手な言動は全部、上司の俺の責任だ。ま、マルコ、あなたがこんな奴らに頭を下げる必要は。ロベルト、お前はまだこの町の仕組みがわかんねえのか。いい加減にしろ帰るぞ<笑> Roberto reluctantly headed to the door with Marco On his way out he stopped in front of me お前も来い Huh? 何をやっているのか知らないがお前はこんな連中のところにいるべきじゃないマフィアとはさっさと手を切り今まで通り教会で下働きでもしていればいいだろう。Oh, um, I... まったく信じられないな。君は女性に対しても高圧的な態度を取るんだね。彼女がどこにいるのかなんて彼女が決めることだよ。それとも連行でもするつもり貴様らのことだ。何か弱みを握って彼女を拉致監禁しているんだろう。マフィアの屋敷に教会の娘がいるどう考えても異常だ今この瞬間こそ言い逃れできない犯罪の証拠になる Roberto's hostility was growing Roberto, I'm afraid you're misunderstanding 誤解だと I'm here of my own will. There's nothing about me that the police need to worry about. But it's the truth. And. Nicola gently placed his hand on my shoulder to try and calm me down. まさか、警察は人の小意地にまで首を突っ込んだりしないよね This is a special someone? He's joking like usual, right? This is a bit too much for me to handle. Roberto looked stunned. Seeing me show a favorable disposition toward the mafia must be shocking to him. I could only assume what he was witnessing was far beyond belief from his point of view. これ以上僕たちの貴重な時間を奪わないでほしいね。帰るぞ、ロベルト。し、しかし、マルコ。お前が心配する気持ちは多少わからんでもないが。この子を大事にしてくれんだろ、ニコラ。もちろん。なら、別に問題ねえな。Wow, that was intense. Okay. Marco somewhat forcefully dragged Roberto out of the manor. So, the case of 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 the c a s e I had never seen Nicola this angry before. As he scolded his elder subordinate. Yashkino Naka de Bolyok Zatarina to Boktach in Furini Hatarak Kano Sega Takai. Sakini Teo Dashtano got Dochira de Mone. Sawanging a old Kikanareba Momikes no Momendo Nar. Bai Niotewa, Capo no Hyobani Mokakar. Tanomukara, Kona Kudaranai Koto de Dante or Azra Senai de Hoshine. Moshuakanai Family Nichkate Onajimisua Okasanai. Okay, so s 
そんなまさか We're going to save here and we will find out what the other story is. So let me see. All right, guys. I. Wow, things are getting so intense. Sweet Jeebus. Okay. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this episode, what you think is going to happen next. This is intense. Um, oh, my mind is blown. This is... It, things are getting heated and it's only chapter two. Right, so let me know what you think. Go ahead and hit that follow button. Go ahead and hit that, you know, thumbs up. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.